Welcome back to the Tabla Walla. My name is Ron Hadar. This is the 30 high lesson and it's going to be a relatively simple one. In this lesson we're gonna quickly go over the three highs that we did on the last lesson and expand on them until we reach the standard 16-bit Tintal T high. If you haven't watched and learned the two previous lessons, you will find links to them in the description below. So let's begin. We started with a 4-bit T high made out of three phrases of one bit and two gaps of half a bit. Then we added one bit to the phrase and that gave us a 7-bit T high made out of two bit phrases. Next, we added one more bit to the phrase and got a 10-bit T high. Now let's continue the same way. We expand the phrase bit of the T high from 3 to 4 and that will give us a 13-bit T high. Now for the sake of demonstrations, I will use this Nagma machine, which is uh, an Indian combination of a metronome and a looper and it's made specifically for, uh, for tabla players to, to practice on the different tiles, the different cycles. It's kind of obsolete and uh, you can find various apps that do better work generally, but uh, it has one big advantage that you can have uh, the loop going on and the, the option to have a metronome going on at the same time so it's very comfortable to practice with and to demonstrate. Uh, the sound is kind of shitty and it doesn't give you the nice atmosphere or inspiration to play but uh, it does uh, it's very practical it does the job so uh, yeah I'll put on just the metronome for now we are on uh, 54 BPM very comfortable speed and I'm going to demonstrate the 13 bit T high so we got the metronome going on always have it on when you start practicing and I've seen some people some students that have been playing percussions for many years and still the loy like the beat is not perfect so it's always good to keep practicing at least part of your time with a metronome or a looper or a anything that keeps the beat straight okay so let's begin this is the 13 bit t high made out of four bit phrases one more bit to the phrase and we will get one of the most standard and common T highs for the 16-bit cycle or tintal of Hindustani music. This T high is made out of five bit phrases and two half bit gaps and that gives us the standard 16-bit T high. Again let me demonstrate this T high. This time I'm going to put on the metronome together with a nagma. The nagma is a very simple melody that is just made to keep the loop, to give you the feel of the tal, the rhythmical cycle. So this time we are on tintal, uh, so we are getting the nagma, this melodic loop of 16 bits. So it sounds like this. The sound quality is not amazing, but it does the job. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we 
get a simple progression. The phrases grow by 1 with each dihy from 1 to 5. And as you can see, each time the phrase grows by 1, the total dihy length grows by 3. The first thing that you can do to practice this is to start by composing simple phrases of various lengths, starting from a 1-bit phrase up to the 5-bit phrase, and play them with the exact half bit get, and you will get all those five various dehys. I will quickly demonstrate. Start. Just the metronome is enough for now. So one, two, three, four. One more bit. Uh. Three bit phrase. Mm. Five-bit phrase. Now, to make all of this applicable to playing and to improvising, you should learn exactly where to place these dehys. So you should learn exactly where to start them in various vertical cycles in order for them to end at the exact point that you mean them to end. The natural place to start practicing this would be on a tintle cycle if you are playing Hindustani music and to end each of these dehys on the sum or on the first bit of the next cycle. Later on we will learn some other spots that are very nice to end the TIs on, but this is the, the common uh, way to do TIs. And if you are playing Western music, then you will just be playing them on four bars of four quarters, and that would be the simple and natural uh, way to start practicing and to try and end each of these dehys on, on the one, on the first bit of the next uh, cycle, the next bar. So let's begin. So we start off by placing the 4-bit dehy within the 16-bit cycle. So 16 minus 4 is 12, which means that we are going to play 12 bits and then on the 13th bit Start the 4 bits the high and land safely on the sum or on the one of the next cycle. To practice this, I will use the metronome together with the nagma, the loop of the 16 bits. So, again, we are on the same BPM, <coughs> it's 54, very easy. And we have the metronome. We have the nagma, the loop, and one, two, three, four. Look at the other dihys. The next dihy is the 7 bit dihy. 16 minus 7 is 9, 
which means we are going to play full 9 beats and on the 10th beat of the cycle we start the 7 bit the high and that will land us on the 17 or on the first beat of the next cycle again the nagma 3 4 5 the high the 10 bit the high 16 minus 10 is 6 which means we are going to play 6 beats and on the 7th beat start at the high and again land on the sum 1 2 next high the 13 bit the high 16 minus 13 is 3 which means we will play 3 beats start at the high on the fourth beat and again land on sun so two three the last the high for now the 16 bit the high a full cycle of 16 we will start on some and end on some and as I said this is a very very common commonly used the high so we will go one full cycle start on the sun and end on the sun next stage would be to play within the cycle and start punching in those the highs always ending on the sun so I will demonstrate with a simple composition in a comfortable speed and you should practice like this too at the beginning again with an agma on the tintal That's it for today's lesson. Practice all of this well, share with your friends, subscribe and join me again on the next The High lesson when we will dive deeper into the understanding of The High.